Welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you five new features that you have on the Nougat update for your Samsung Galaxy device. This will work with your Galaxy S8, your S7s, and other devices that are being updated to Nougat. Let's get started. The first tip is in the brightness settings on the notification panel. You may have noticed that when you pull down, you no longer see a brightness control right here at the top. You have to pull it down a second time to see the brightness. If you click the drop down arrow right next to the brightness setting, you'll see these other features. Here you have the brightness level, you have an auto brightness setting, as well as a show control on top. When you select this, it's going to show that brightness control right at the very top of the notification bar. So now when I pull down, you can see that I have the brightness settings right there and I can adjust it really easily. My second tip is in the recent apps button. So typically when you push the recent apps button, it's going to show you these recent apps that you've been to. So say I'm in the gallery and then I want to go to a different app. Let's say I want to go into my Google home or whatever application I want. So before you would have to click the button and then choose the other application. Well now with Android Nougat, all you have to do is tap the button down here twice and it will instantly jump back to the recent app. So here, tap, tap, and it is all the way back to the other app. Again, tap, tap, it jumps back to my gallery. So let's say I'm in the gallery and now I want to choose a different app like the phone app. All I need to do, tap, tap, and it jumps right back to the recent app that I was in. The third feature I wanna show you is multi-window. To get to multi-window, you first need to have recently opened an application. So here I'm gonna go into my gallery and let's say I just open up a picture or a video. To start multi-window, you just need to select the recent apps icon down here at the bottom. If you only have one app that's open, that's okay. All you need to do is select the multi-window icon up here at the top, it's two rectangle boxes. I select that down here it will show any other recent applications I've used, but I don't have any of those, so all I need to do is select more apps. If you ever used multi-window on other Samsung devices, you know that the application choices were very limited. Well now with Android Nougat, it is baked in essentially to the software, so you have many more options that you can use. So all I need to do is select any of these applications and then it will go into multi-window. So let's say I want to use Chrome down here and I want to, um, you know, I can go into different window there. And then here at the top, I have my gallery. So if I want to, so these will run independently of each other. So they're their own application still. If I click the middle icon right here, I can change a few settings. This one allows me to pin this window to the top, so it will always stay up there. The second one allows me to swap the places of the app, so now my gallery is on the bottom. If I want to pop an application out to be on its own, I just need to select that icon, and here I can close my multi window. So, also, if I go back into multi window again, so here I would just select whichever application I want to be on the top, and then down here I select the bottom app and I can adjust this so this can be taller. Let's say I want to have YouTube up here or something. I can then have a totally different application down here on the bottom. If I want to change the app on the bottom at any time, all I need to do is click home and then I can select the other application I wanna use. Say I want to pull up in my camera, there we can see that my video is still on the top of the screen. If you do go into landscape mode, sometimes it will not let you adjust the size of the screen, but it will make them stay uh, side by side in equal lengths. Also, if you're navigating and doing something else at the same time, you do need to click on the navigation window because that one window will stay frozen if it's not active. Another really cool trick with multi-window is if I have something that I wanna share to somebody, like a screenshot, or anything on this screen to a message, all I have to do is go home, go into my messages, 
And then let's say I wanna text this picture right here. All I have to do is hold down, drag that to the other screen. It is now converting that to send as a text message. You can do that with pictures as well as videos here in the stock messaging app. Sometimes the apps are not supported, so it is a little limited on which applications you can do there, but that's a really cool trick. Now that video is attached and I can just click send. To close the multi-window, all you need to do is click the middle icon and click the close button and that will close multi-window. My fourth tip is in the display settings. So all you need to do is pull down the notification bar and go into the settings gear at the top. Then you need to go down here into display. So when you have a Samsung Nougat device, your screen resolution will default to full HD. So as what that means is the screen has a quad HD display. So it's a very high resolution it will automatically choose full HD so that it can save on battery life and then you have normal HD. So let me show you the difference between all of these. So is what I would recommend is if you wanna save battery life, you can go down this way, down to just regular HD. But if you want the best quality, make sure you select the WQHD up here. That's gonna give your screen the best look that it can get. So here, I'm gonna just show you what uh, the QHD looks like you can just look at the text right here. And then if I go and change it to standard definition at 720p and click apply, and then here I'm gonna change it to full resolution. And you may not be able to tell much on the video, but there is a big difference on what that actually does. My fifth tip, this is really a secret on Android, is to get your own little cat that you can feed on your Android device. So all you need to do is pull down the notification bar, go into your settings, and then we're gonna go all the way down to about device. Once we are here, we're going to select software information. And then if we go up here to Android version, we just need to select Android version, keep tapping it until you see this N icon. So that's the N for Nougat. And then if you keep tapping, as well as hold down, you'll see that down here, a cat icon appeared. So what that means is you now have cat mode enabled on your Nougat device. So on the Samsung phone here, the Galaxy S8, we need to go into the notification, so I'm gonna pull this down and scroll over and you will see a new icon, but here we need to adjust something first. I need to click settings and then I need to click reorder buttons. Now you see a new icon down here that is a cat and I just need to drag that up to whatever position I want the cat to be at and then I click done. So now you have a cat that you can feed and it's gonna show up right here this is the way that you feed the cat. It's gonna show empty dish. To feed the cat, you select the empty dish and choose what you want to feed the cat. Here you have bits, fish, chicken, and treat. I hear chicken's the best thing to do to feed the cat. So now you've put the chicken there. If we go back, we'll see that it has added a chicken. And then you'll just have to wait until the cat eats the chicken. Once your cat has arrived, you will receive a notification. Here it says a cat is here and it gives it a number. You just select the notification and there you have your cat. You can hold down and delete the cat or share the cat. Or if you tap, you then can name the cat. So here, we're just gonna name ours Felix. Okay, so there we have our little cat and you can then go and feed your cat again Right here in the dish, there is the chicken ready for the kitty cat. To get back to your kitty collector, you just need to pull down the notifications, go back over to the dish, hold down, and that will jump into your kitties. 
I hope you enjoyed my five favorite new features on Android Nougat. If you know anyone that just got a Nougat device, please click the share button either above or below and share these cool tricks with them. If you're completely new to Android, I'd love for you to check out the Android 101 playlist to the side. That's gonna teach you all the basics of using an Android phone. And if this is your very first time here, click the subscribe button below so that you can be notified of my new uploads to gain more knowledge about how to use the confusing tech that's out there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.